Regarding Bluey characters, there are quite a lot of them. And while most of the time is spent with the main family, there have also been plenty of other notable ones, such as Bluey or Bingo's friends, the kids at the school, and some other family members we see throughout the show. And as the series has continued, most of these characters have been able to get their time in the spotlight. However, while some characters have been able to get more roles and even become way better than before, there is one character that seems to get completely ignored, to the point that his disappearance became even more discussed than the actual character himself. And that character is of course Granddad, or specifically Granddad Bob, as there's actually another Granddad named Mort, who somehow got more roles despite being introduced a season later? But anyways... Considering how he only got a couple small roles before seemingly disappearing off the face of the show's world, it has led to many fans wondering about his disappearance, with many even theorizing that he had actually passed away. I mean, just looking up his name into Google brings up questions about the idea, which just shows how much people believe in this theory. And at this point, the theory has gone so far that many took to social media to ask about his disappearance, with even the creator of Bluey himself being asked about it, to which he provided some... interesting answers. So today, we'll be discussing the mysterious character known as Granddad Bob, including the few appearances he's had, and the ideas on what could have happened to him. So with all that said, Let's go to the very beginning. Granddad Bob made his debut in the Season 1 episode Grannies, and while it's a decent start, he really doesn't do that much. I'm not even joking when I say that he only appeared for literally one scene, in which he does a funny dance with Nana before accidentally bumping into the camera, and that's literally it. So overall, not anything significant, but to be fair, this is still the first season, and a lot of characters had to be pushed to the side so the writers could focus on the main family, which is understandable. However, while that makes a lot of sense, this is basically the last time he ever gets a somewhat notable present day role, because here is where things start to get a little strange. And yes, I say notable present day role because his other roles are either really small or take place in the past. For instance, his only other present day appearance isn't even in the actual show, but rather a book, where he makes a small appearance in the book Where's Bluey, where you have to find items scattered across pages full of scenery and characters. However, going back to the show, he would make one more physical appearance in the Season 3 episode Fairy Tale. And in my opinion, this is probably his most interesting role yet, although it doesn't have a lot of competition. And while I don't consider it as important, many claim that he is mentioned in the short Humpty Dumpty, where Chili decides to send Grandad a message, although she doesn't specify which one. However, Considering that Granddad Mort, or Chili's dad, is only the granddad of Bluey and Bingo, and since Muffin and Socks are involved, many believe that the message is in fact being sent to Bob, as it would make more sense. And although very small, he does get referenced in the episode Bedroom, in which Bingo says, Good night, Missy. Good night, Leela. Good night, Grandpa Bob, wherever you are which seems to imply that even in their world, his absence is quite well known, which leads us into the explanations. So right off the bat, let's talk about an idea that's so widespread, I almost want to say it's more well known than Bob himself, and it's the theory that sometime off screen, Bob actually passed away. What are you on about? What's he on about? And while it's quite morbid, this seems to actually make some sense. After all, he hasn't made an appearance since Granny's outside of a book and a flashback, 
and the fact that he never shows up to any parties or family gatherings is quite mysterious. Especially considering how Nana, who seems to live in the same place as him, usually does show up. And you could say that he's possibly busy or just occupied, but considering his old age, he would likely be retired, or if old enough, possibly deceased. But despite how interesting this theory is, I just don't think there's enough evidence to yet prove that he actually passed away. Starting with official announcements, many state that Ludo has plans for him to return, but as of now, I haven't found any direct announcement from the studio to confirm this. However, the creator of the show, Joe Brum, has announced in interviews that he does have plans for Bob, but he hasn't stated any specific details on what these plans actually are. We haven't seen him in a little while. Is there any news? Um, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of, I've almost finished all the writing, mm -hmm. and Bob is on my mind. And while one could argue that these were just a reference to his appearance in Fairy Tale, I think it's also safe to believe that since we're only halfway through the third series, he could easily appear in a future episode, especially when side characters such as Wendy have gotten many more appearances and roles. And if Bob actually died or at least had some sort of severe health condition, then wouldn't the whole family acknowledge it or at least be somewhat concerned? Like, I understand if they wanted to wait a little while in order to not traumatize or shock the kids, but would they really hold it off for an entire year? Or possibly even longer? And many say that Bingo's quote from the bedroom episode is evidence of Bob's passing, but to me, it just seems like she's wondering where he is in general, and not implying anything about him being six feet under. But if we were to consider that Bob is still alive, then that raises the big question. Where has he actually been this whole time? And well, I've probably been looking into this way too hard, but just for fun, I'll explain my idea. So I'll admit that it's a bit far-fetched, but I think it's possible that he simply isn't too close or well-connected to the family, either because of some conflict or literally. Because from the little we see of him, he seems like a nice guy, but I can't help but wonder if there are some issues that keep him and his family away from each other. I mean... The fact that he couldn't even remember the name of his own son is pretty strange. And from what I've seen, he may or may not have a couple screws loose. Although he's probably just messing around. And maybe because of this or some other previous reason, he simply doesn't interact with his family very often because he finds it awkward. I mean, my dad divorced my mom years ago. And even though we have nothing against each other, my dad and my family in general simply don't talk very often because we both have our own things to do and find it awkward. And I wouldn't be too surprised if there was a similar situation with Bob. And for all we know, he may not even live with Nana in the first place. I mean, the episode Charades is entirely set inside Nana's place, but we don't even see Bob once. So for all I know, maybe the two did divorce, and upon splitting up, Nana decided to move far away from him, living inside a tall tower so he would never find her. But one fateful day, Nana was learning how to floss with Bluey and Bingo when all of a sudden, upon attempting to dance, summons her former partner. And before she could react, Bob had already gone into full dance mode and breaks the tablet with his path of destruction. And while she pretends to be happy, Nana is secretly enraged by the return of Bob, and using her magic slipper, decides to finally banish her former partner to the Shadow Realm, never to be seen or heard from again. Okay, well, I just made up that last part, but I wouldn't be too surprised if they actually did split up or something. But once again, the lack of clear evidence makes it difficult to tell. Despite the efforts by many, it's honestly pretty difficult to tell what Bob has actually been up to, as the lack of any information really does put holes in a lot of theories. But in my opinion, that's kind of the best part, 
as the mystery behind Bob is arguably more interesting than his actual character, as there are plenty of creative ways it can go. I mean, if he did in fact actually pass away, it would be a great opportunity to discuss the death of a loved one to audiences, although we did get something similar in the episode Copycat. And if he is still alive, then cool! The show has a blank slate that can be turned into another interesting, great character with tons of potential. And frankly, I do hope he does return, as it could have the potential to be really interesting. I mean, just take a look at Wendy. At first, she was just a pompous, grumpy character who did almost nothing. But now, she's a genuinely fun, interesting character without completely changing who she is. And considering how things are, it appears that he simply hasn't been given a chance yet, as there are just so many characters for the show to cover in such a short runtime. If you've got a story and a character's not needed for that story, seven minutes doesn't provide you the time to just show them. It's you, just, you can't bring some spare character that doesn't have any plot function in. <laughs> but I'll gather all those little bits up and I'll staple them together for a very satisfying conclusion. So in the end, I can't say he's my favorite character, but I do hope he's doing well, and that when the chance comes, he will hopefully come back into relevancy. However, with that said, what do you think happened to Bob Healer? I personally believe he's still out there, but I can see why so many would believe otherwise, so feel free to let me know in the comments below. But until next time, BMB Productions will be signing out. Have a great day everyone, and I'll see you real soon. Bye everyone.